Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 3 of Gigi Harm. So yes, the last time when I was trying to watch this show on Thursday, of course, um, I, I don't specifically remember, like, how many minutes we were in, um, but unfortunately, because Florida... Um, and summer equal hurricane season, girl, when it rains and the thunderstorms, it's just, <sighs> it's nuts. So, you know, a couple of days later, we're watching it now, but other than that, it's going to get started in three, two, one, go. I still think that's hilarious to me. I mean, okay, let me go ahead, because I didn't ask this the first time I saw this part, but I'm going to ask it now. Do we really need, like, a book guide on dating? I mean, it's just about, what, being yourself at the end of the day, right? You have to watch what you say around other girls, Jesus. Because she's hopeful that you pick her. No! That's what you get. No. <laughs> 
Spending time with you. Are you just going to draw all of them? <laughs> no, very simple. Yeah, not every girl likes horror films. I mean, you know, we already know I love the crap out of them. I, I think it's cute when guys and girls cannot stand horror movies and such. It it's the cutest thing in the world. But it once you teach somebody how to really watch a horror movie, they're sad. Okay, I think I'm now caught up to where I was. Because this is all new. Whether you do fashion trends or not, you just dress for yourself, that's fine. I mean, yeah, you can say that. I, I know I really wouldn't, you know, wear... Mm. We'll talk about that later.
Oh my god. <laughs> I get that. As some like as a natural haired girl now. I've been natural haired for like the longest time. I secretly hate it cuz it's so tedious. Just how soft and angelic she just makes her voice. The power that Queen Sally Hyman is. Because, like, oh my god. Once again, I, I am a proud <laughs> Kaye producer. You sure? Aww. <laughs> 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 Poor baby. So cute. Hmm? Aww. <laughs> oh, I can't see it. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
it? No. Once again, the flirting. Oh. He's going to give it to her. The chat AI is real with this part. <laughs> They're all from her, obviously. To both of them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> right? You just do a text.
Mm-mm. That's her true, true feelings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, no, I don't think anyone is going to come to you. it later with Nana but it's it's gonna take time Younger. Younger. But no! Read between the effing lines! Oh my god. Mm. Okay, let me let me just go ahead and say this real quick because the, the fashion thing. Yes, our, our lovely, adorable senpai, he does not really have, like, he has, mm, his style is more like a... A four, I will say that. Now, like, as someone who is the age that I am, as a woman, I, I literally, I think after I graduated high school, several years later, I just ultimately stopped wanting to wear, um, anything with my school's name on it. Like, I still have my varsity jacket for chorus and everything. I haven't used that Mainly, you know, weight-wise and how everything kind of goes to my chest sometimes. And it's like, oh, if I put this on, like, God, it's just nuts. Um, But it's just whatever your style is, guy, girl, whoever, and how you want to dress, whether you are following fashion trends or you're not and you're going into your own particular style. Because some people like to be comfortable all the time. There are some people who don't like, okay. Okay, okay. Here's the big thing. Oh, wait. <laughs> Here's the big thing I want to talk about. Okay, so if any of you... Uh, well, I think majority of my subs are probably on TikTok as well. But, um... Specifically, if you were on the United States TikTok, specifically, sometimes I will say the club TikTok situation and stuff. There was this TikToker, a woman who came, this was like a couple of days ago. Mind you, this woman, uh, mind you, if you don't know, I'm 30, duh. Um, And this girl is four, this woman is four years older than me, she's 34. And she was talking about the fact that in the club scene, for her age, and anytime when she goes to the club, she does not see um, either girls, not really girls her age, girls younger and down. So I would say my age on down to early to mid 20s, not wearing heels out to the club. And, and mind you, like if when I was in my 
mid 20s and stuff I kind of, I didn't really did I like going to the club I, I really went to like some dancing places but like um because I am a mixture of an introvert and extrovert sometimes I want to be around people dancing and sometimes I just want to be at home and chill and my own shit um I never wore heels I, yeah, I would do them for special occasions and stuff. Like, yeah, I got a shit ton of heels and everything that I may wear, like, not on a daily, but, like, if I'm, like, I, I will always try to wear a heel, like, on my birthday. Not, like, a skinny, like, Louis Vuitton heel or anything, but I like me a big, good, chunky heel and such. And so she was like, well, yeah, y'all need to wear in this. And people have dragged, I mean, dragged this woman through the floor, the floodgates, all over TikTok. It is probably to the point where videos of it has possibly gone to YouTube. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I, like, I get the reason of why people who are younger than me being like, I don't really want to wear, you know, heels because, yeah, truly, it would, depending on how long you are at a bar, a lounge, a club, somewhere, certain amount of hours and some freaking heels, like, it's not always going to be comfortable. That's why, you know, we always choose comfortable heels and such. Yes, being 5'9", like, I, the one thing that I love about myself is, like, my legs and accentuating my legs. And sometimes I like feeling taller than I am actually, I actually am. And I like that. You know, I've had people tell me, like, oh, well, you really shouldn't do that and stuff. Hell, I had a woman tell me that I really should not do that. And I looked at her, like, I don't give two, like, a rat's ass. Like, I like my legs. Be jealous of my legs, boo. Like, I, at least I'm not wearing, like, the one thing I will never do. I'm not wearing no fucking hooker heels. But I like accentuating my legs. My legs, my le like, my legs and my butt and my boobs are like my, busy, my biggest assets for me and such. Me, regardless. So, like, let me accentuate with things that I love to accentuate. Ish. But no, 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 no. I totally get that on the style. Um, one other thing I do want to talk about with this show. One, um, one of the guys that I'm friends with who was watching this show up until last week's episode he was a little discouraged. Like, me, it kind of flew by me because I, I like this show and I think it's cute. Um, but it kind of reminds me. Y'all remember that one moment in Hori Mia where I, I think they... It was either the episode where they finally had sex or beforehand. When they officially started dating. And, and it was like, it did a little transition. And I think everybody, there was two people who I also found literally talked about this shit. Like, damn, like, we already on this episode, they already dating and stuff. And, and so it's funny because the same thing kind of happened with this, except Nana, like, by episode two, she's already head over heels in love with him. And, yeah, that is a little fast. I will say that, too. I didn't say it last week because I was like, when I looked at it, I'm like, no, in the moment. That's so freaking cute. Ha, 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 ha. Now, looking back at it, I'm like, yeah, that is a little weird how it's like, one minute, we're on episode one, they're friends. Episode two, we get to the end of it. A girl is head over heels in love. And then we get to episode three, we're kind of still talking about love. We're having romantic moments with them. She written not one, not two, but three letters. Her third and final letter was literally her just talking about her emotions and how she truly feels about him. But she snatched it away from him in time because she doesn't really want him to know how she truly feels about them. I get that. I get that because, duh, I've done that too. Or I've like literally, literally gone on here and been like, hey, yo, I like ya and stuff um but no i get that i get that that is her like insecurities and everything popping up but yeah 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 yeah. that like took me back for a moment but regardless i still love this show it's it's very underrated as i said i think in episode one but when once the biggest thing is like sally jaime honing her craft and playing like so many different personalities in one character and such how you can do that and the fact is like we even had a moment that because she's so into her acting and everything that like it just feels like yeah she's having a multiple a multiple personality disorder think about every actor who has played these big big legacy um known um i'm not gonna say characters um i will say known people who are fallen people who are no longer with us that's like i don't remember his 
uh, Austin Butler, um, when he did Elvis, it got to a point that that man, like, I think he had to go to therapy for that ish. Or even Evan Peters himself. I mean, if you haven't seen American Horror Story, highly recommend it for a certain amount of seasons. I'm just going to say, because as someone who has watched that season one, there are some goods and there are some bads and there are some what the heck, Ryan Murphy. Um, Evan Peters is one of those who desperately, I think, I don't know what season it was. It had to be, it was between Colt and another season. He, woo I mean, damn. Like, I, I fell for that boy. I fall for that man because, like, Jesus. But that is someone, when you go all in a roll to the point that you start losing who you are, like, your sanity as a person, like, you feel like you don't recognize yourself, that is kind of almost like in a way when you need help. And in that moment, she really did need help. And I love the fact that he came in and said, hey, let's just take a chill day. You need this. Plus, I also slammed that. <laughs> Slinging a hammer against my thumb. We both need a day off. <laughs> but it was cute, though. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode three of Gigi Harm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode four. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.